Welcome to the Nexus Unloaded podcast. This is Will Crozier. And I'm Nikki Westcomb. We are the founders of Nexus Performance. Joining us on this wild ride is our heavyweight coaching team, ready to unleash the expertise to solve any problems in your journey to getting strong and jacked. Through our real world experience, we hope to break things down in a digestible, applicable and entertaining way. So pump up the volume and let's get into this. Are we starting? Yep, yep. it's done. Oh, has it started? Oh, perfect. Yeah, hearing me and Will bicker in the background. <sighs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mum and Dad arguing feels like home. W- welcome. It's good. <laughs> We're it's all times. hanging on really well here. <laughs> Will's last, half cut off screen. That's fine. Last week for... It's about a time he got out angled. Last week for Santa Claus here. Mm. Uh, before you go and leave for what? A week? Two weeks? If it was, a, like, if it was only a week, there would be trouble. <laughs> Two weeks. Plenty, mate. We get fuck half a day, I reckon. <laughs> I think I'm getting two days. So you Christmas, need. New Year's. Nah, Boxing Day. You're working Christmas. Um, well, I'm Christmas and Boxing Day. I've got off. You're gonna need this hat. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to get it done. <laughs> I'm not working those two days. <laughs> what about Jolly large spirit. sacks? We've got presents. Jordan. We've got Jordan on leave as well. She's heading down to Melbourne to spend some time with her family, so she's off, and yeah. I'll be taking care doing? of all of her misfits. I'm doing the same. I'm going down to Melbourne for Christmas. Down to Melbourne. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you're all fucking leaving. We're not. You're going for Christmas as well. Oh, we're going down Armadale. Yeah. In three days. Armadale. I have to go find something else to do. I'm mm. going to hang out with Dan Casson for Christmas. Yeah, are you? Yep. Yep, good. Oh, nice. Well, Dan, he asked and, me. Dan and Bryony asked, and then I was like, look, I'll keep you posted. I'll definitely get you involved in whatever we do. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then I was just trying to work it out with everyone. I cracked the shits and gave up and was like, fuck it. Let's just go have a picnic or something somewhere. <laughs> It's Very not our, stupidly crowded. Our Very deck is our deck is occupied. <laughs> What's on your deck? Oh, that was last year. Last year we had our. Oh um, no, we're just going to rock up to your house anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we can sit. <laughs> the door's the always sunset. open anyway. So always... what do you mean the back fence? <laughs> You're not jumping that. Oh, I can't, mate. I'm, I'm conditioning king now. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see it. <laughs> we did pogos thanks, the other day. I can jump to... now. We did well. We did a conditioning class. We did our first. <laughs> I don't we know moved. why we picked. Did you like... not see me touch the basketball hoop on Sunday? Is that a kids' height yep. basketball hoop? It's irrelevant. <laughs> Still touched it. <laughs> Video editing is pretty amazing these days as well. So we are. We are, We did. Uh, we did our first like uh, Gold Coast Nexus gym. Um, I guess conditioning class of sorts uh, on Saturday just gone. So we just started it off nice and slow, easing in. I wrote the. Uh, the the class and Kiva, performance. And Kiva, Kiva ran it. So Kiva's first experience running uh, a session. He's becoming a man. Whether it be one-on-one or group or whatever, just threw him in the deep end with it and said. I feel like Wilbur's got his back to us. He doesn't want to talk to the boys. I'm trying to lean in. And, <laughs> and yeah, so Kiva, uh, I, th- I thought he did well. Uh, he did well. It wasn't quite the authority I'd. You know, expect from a. I can see Mickey class uh, constructing some feedback. He, you know, he would push and then apologize for pushing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, little, "Let's little... go. You can do. You can work harder." Oh, I'm. I'm sorry. If you're trying your best. <laughs> nah, he, did, <laughs> he did pretty. <laughs> he did pretty good. I told him throwing some banter, and then but then we had when he threw in the banter, there was a bit of apologizing for the banter. So uh, we'll get rid of the apologizing. When when we'll Joey fucking... rocked up, and we're all swearing at Joey. He's like, "Keep going, guys! It's just a distraction." <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck yeah. That's what we need. We need to we need a bit of a push. That's what those classes are for. They are. I got a lot of go Mickey's. Yeah, you know they have okay. how they have like finishing classes if you're like upper class and proper, where you have to go and get, like, learn etiquette and stuff. Mm. We need like a bullying class for Kiva. Okay. So I can sit and teach him <laughs> nice bullying. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like constructive bullying. Banter. Yeah. yeah. You call that a wall sit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Honza. there won't be any wall sits. I was, That's one I thing was, I don't want. I was do. yelling at Honza a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm so glad it wasn't your partner. <laughs> Wilbo and me were in the corner together. Ah, uh, yeah, there were three different teams. We definitely okay. led from the front. I think we actually kept Fuck everyone off. afloat. We kept no, everyone no. afloat. You in your last Russian twist literally laid on the ground for 30 <laughs> seconds of the minute. Nah, no, nah, nah. maybe 20 seconds. That didn't happen. But it was, nah, he was doing a. a, a that was hold. the hardest exercise of the whole thing. And we got it last, all right? So yeah. everybody else is like, oh, you guys fucking suck at it. It's because it was last, all right? He did a dish hold. It's just a different ab exercise. Mm. Or just sitting. 
it's it's a no, it's an isometric. I don't know if you know what isometric is and the benefits of isometrics. Please but, explain them to me. They're really good for tendon health. Explain to me in the context of conditioning how they're appropriate. No, nah, they're really hard. And um, <laughs> well said. Cut it there. Cut it there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, the heart rates were up. Mm. Josh's watch proves that. When what was your heart many rate many up? ups and many downs? Mine's actually like I've I've actually been getting a little bit of conditioning done anyway, so like my heart rate's been improving. But I think mine got to like one forty five. Yeah, Honza had one seventy two. Yeah, season. Yeah, I was actually pretty happy with one forty five because it shows me that the other work I've been doing is actually helping. Mm. Yeah, paying off. Mm. Also shows the work ethic that Josh had throughout that thirty minutes. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, absolutely fucking it. nothing. We went hard. We went hard. <laughs> There was a lot of sweating. It was. It just happened yeah, to be that, a lot of sweating. It happened Josh to be left, that every Josh video was sweat butterflies like against the buildings that he was leaning against. It seems to be that every video Kiva took, I was like, looked like I wasn't doing anything. That was that was like. Nah, but I was trying real hard <laughs> every round. <laughs> <sighs> but but the, yeah, we argument. did have to. We did pick the fucking hottest. Like one of the hottest. What do you mean? We're in the shade. You We're in a heat are, wave. You guys are just a bunch of. Oh, yeah, it was fun. In the shade, it's hot here. Uh, but yeah, we should have probably started back in winter or something and he's into it. And this week we've got Sammy coming along. Is he? Gonna, she. going to suck. She. My Sammy. client, Sammy. Oh, Sammy. Hockey player. Not my yeah. dog. Oh, What's he going to do? <laughs> That's what I was like. I had to carry that little fucking lick yesterday our on our walk. <laughs> he gave up walking. He just went and sat down and was like, no, nah, this is it for me, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll have um. Oh, Sammy, keep it... Sammy's going to kick all our ass, and it's just not. It's just not She's fair. going to turn it into. I already told. I already told her her and me are going to get into an argument. <laughs> yeah. She'll be sitting there going, "Hurry up, go, go, go! I'm better than you." <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Sounds like most of their PT sessions. And then you'll just yeah, start that crying. Is actually, yeah, that is honestly our PT sessions. <laughs> she hits me with a weight or something, <laughs> or throws a med ball at me. But there was some, uh, uh, obviously, other than just like picking on each other, there was uh, an intended benefit to it. Yeah. Uh, because like at the gym here, we have people from all different backgrounds. Sammy is one of them. Um, she's an Australian level hockey player, so she's probably slightly better conditioning than us. Only and she's a- only like literally less than 50% of your body weight too. She's five foot and like 50. Yeah, that's the yeah. reason for sure. She'll yeah. still fuck you up. Um, nah. But uh, there's, yeah. The Auto back. People in, in this in this in powerlifting uh, and, and in our sports, uh, notorious for letting conditioning slide. We've done previous episodes on why it's important to incorporate some of that stuff. Um, heart stuff. Heart stuff. Yeah. Movement getting stuff. getting things to move around your body. You know, blood is good. You know, yes. move around does stuff uh, beneath the scenes. Makes us better athletes. Makes us better powerlifters. On top of that. Uh, as a, as a flow and effect podcast today as well. Just yeah, so you know. yeah, we don't need to go on any degree because we yeah. have been there in previous episodes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we decided. Hey, it sucks when you do it alone. Like, no one likes sitting there fucking trying to get you know just sit on a bike or do sprints and cry in a corner on your own. And uh, it's also way easier to slack it on your own. Mm. Uh, whether you skip it completely or whether you just kind of like half ass it. When you're doing it as a group. It's uh, it's a lot easier to push, a bit harder. It's a lot easier to push um, each other, and you can kind of have fun with it and, and talk shit like we just like it's evident that we did. No, no it was very serious. Very serious. I was very yelling serious. at all of you guys more than I was working. Work. Yeah, exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. Well, no, thanks, guys. Was... It's been fun. <laughs> So, so yeah, you guys are all just like bludging throughout. No, like oh, Dan, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to come anymore. You've got to condition <laughs> into the conditioning session. Don't you session. start? It was because our, you didn't you even rocked up as it finished. I made it you very just sit clear. There in silence, young man. <laughs> I made it very clear the day before that I was not attending. Yeah, I don't Only recall that actually. Only from now on. I, don't I actually that. recall a. a no, uh, <laughs> I might be there. Didn't happen. No, I said very firmly to me. No, no, it's no. not happening. <laughs> no, he didn't say very firmly. He said, I'll think about it when I wake up in the morning, see how I feel. That's what he said to me, actually. In yep. my mind, that was, no, uh, I'll see you after. <laughs> in, a, in the new I like that everyone tried goals. to rock up at, at 9 o'clock, at thinking he was going to finish at 9, but we were still working hard. Yes. That was, the final, that was the final event. you got to get chased by the car through the driveway. Yeah, Joey rocks up at 9 o'clock too. Jay, well, Jason was training after, so he was – He's allowed to rock up later because you got your pro raw crew on a Saturday morning after the conditioning class. So yeah, he's had some nice squats. 
Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very well. Got a little pro roll crew coming down. Another team thing that we're trying to get together. Mm. Just but yeah, I don't know about like I enjoyed I enjoyed the conditioning thing though. Well, you've been wanting to do it for a while, right? So when we were well, I just away know I in won't America, do it alone. I just I, I literally won't do it alone. I'll, I'll sit on a bike and pedal fucking at a disgustingly slow pace for half an hour watching a TV show. I'll, I'll absolutely do that. Um, but uh, yeah, pushing myself on my own through the cardio just it's just not my jam. It's not what I'm good at. It's so I just won't fucking do it, mm. but in a group I will do it. And so like, I felt good after. I don't know about you guys. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was like, I absolutely died. I think I laid on the concrete for 10 minutes after yep. and just made sweat angels hated my life. But then after that got up, energy was there. I was, I was, uh, it was almost like I had a, I don't have one today, but like a, a, a can of the old, the good stuff <laughs> and um, it was ready to go and it just release the energies into the system. So there's a bit of that going on. I don't know. How about you guys? I had fun. Like it was, it was something different. Same as you said, like I've been pretty slack. I know I've needed to incorporate more conditioning and I've been saying to George every week, yeah, yeah, this is the week I'm going to start my conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Sure. I walk my dog every day and I'm just like, ah, that's yeah. enough for me. Yeah. We do that. Get my 10 to 12,000 steps and I'm yeah. good. And mm-hmm. then adding that in is actually, I was like, ah, oh, this is actually pretty fun. I remember why I do enjoy doing a little bit of group fitness here. I and think there. the biggest the difference hard feels good. I think it's the biggest different. difference is like you can do shit conditioning sessions if you're not mm. enjoying who you're doing it with, mm. right? So like I think there's a big difference between attending those classes and just butchering yourself and actually just not enjoying the the workout as well. Like if you're not enjoying who you're doing it with, um, then that makes a big impact on how you enjoy the session itself too. Mm. Um, so I think just because we had a lot of banter and it was fun and the, you yeah. know, we weren't taking ourselves too seriously throughout that process made it a lot more enjoyable. So, yeah, uh, and one. that was it for me. It was, it wasn't so much that I was enjoying the feeling during before, after whatever. It was more that I just wanted to have a fun sort of session with people where we we're all intentionally working hard too. Cause it's really easy to come in here and have fun gym sessions, but you get up in the talking process, you get up, um, you get held up like shit talking with people and all of a sudden, you know, you haven't really put the work into your sets or your session the way that you should have. Whereas Even with if that, you like the banter, very the banter that you have in that 30 minute class is like, you are all pushing each other. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yep. I think that makes a big difference. And that's what I enjoyed the most out of it. Not so much like the before or during or after. It was more just making sure that we were all actually working throughout the process. Um, yeah, Kiva was keeping us to the to yeah. the time. Which we had to correct <laughs> him uh, on, on a couple of times. So he, he did well. He asked for a lot of feedback after. No, he did um, well. He did well. And and I can feel. I can can only get more confident with it. And then, absolutely, right. so I got a first, PowerPoint ready for him to go. The first, <laughs> course, welcome, Kiva. <laughs> so today's lesson. The first time he's Shit ever talk. done any form of coaching ever, really, aside from like helping yeah, people around the gym floor and yeah. and just the general chit chat and yeah. advice that he gives people just off off the cuff. It was the first time he actually had like a structured coaching. And being a good process. coach is, I feel like, it's the perfect place to start somebody like him because it's not like yes. he doesn't know how to lift yep. like just being good at lifting and and doing comps and everything i see he's going to make him a good coach walking around giving people advice yeah and it's good floor. they've still got a lot to learn but like i feel like uh the application of that knowledge into other people starts with just being confident yeah and um, being able to deliver it in an authoritative way yes. and then make people go like fuck this guy like I trust what you're saying because you're saying it with conviction. Group, group you know fitness I mean? is the perfect place to do that as well because you've got multiple people in front of you. You've got to be quick. You've got to be on your toes. Yeah, you've like got to think. Yeah. You've got different progress people. Progress things, progress things, yeah, like you, just quick. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's where like if, if any new PT is coming up, I definitely encourage them to go and do group fitness at least for a little while to get that initial experience. Mm-hmm. I know it helped they, me out a lot. They, it helped me 100%. Yeah. I did my first like 12 months as a PT in group fitness. Yeah, we used yeah. to run um, the best thing that camps. I did. Yeah, fuck yeah, we used to do them. Yeah, we used to run them in cans. cans. We used to oh, run our was that willpower. Um, yeah, willpower personal training. Fuck yeah, we ran right. our boot camps. We had some um, right at, at the, the PCYC PC, and then a, on a the park. basketball court had people nice. who just I was racking All my brain coming up with uh, five a.m. boot camp sessions. Love those. Yeah, lots of, and we used to. I that don't was, know. I don't know whether we incorporate this or not. I don't, but we end up. We did. Um, Actually, no, nah, because we're involved in this, so it wouldn't work. Mm. But we used to run them and then um, 
once a year at the end of the year we used to do like train they, the they, yeah they would yeah. do it to us oh, yeah. 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 so there'd be like suck. 20 people that would rock up and just stand off the side and watch us <laughs> yeah. yeah just yelling at us yeah. we've done those yeah. Yeah. it was like yeah. dance about everybody on us yeah. <laughs> so most of the coaches where I used to work out in group fitness would actively come and do the classes on their days off yeah, yeah. so it was like it was good because then the members actually saw you training hard yeah, they amongst it and like they yeah. enjoyed yeah. it and then when you were pushing them they're more likely to push back because they're like oh this person actually does do it yeah but then when i went to Big EMF Willy and started as, doing it and was not doing group fitness at all and they would just tear me to pieces yeah, yeah. you can't do this class no brother i can't that's why you're paying me to be here <laughs> like what did what did you're not proving any point here i still yeah. feel like it'll be a bit of that here as in like um people get around a little bit more because we're doing it yeah but no one's going to chat shit at keeper well, well you, what, like, I don't know if he's talking shit to them. That's what I mean. Him. He'll get more confidence. Oh, you don't need to yell profanities at him. Yeah. He'd get upset. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, he'll he'll develop a thick skin. No, I think that. it's. I think honestly, give him. It. So we've got Let's this Saturday, the twenty third. We'll have every um, Saturday. Yep. Yep. We'll have our our next class, but the one following is the, the Saturday following is the thirtieth, which we're we we're indecisive whether or not. Well, Kiva's not working, mm-hmm. um, so we're indecisive. I reckon we do. Whether or not we do it, even if Finish we just the year off strong. banter off and have a bit of a one ourselves that Kiva doesn't necessarily have to conduct. No, Let's talk about what they are it. because, yeah, uh, get I mean, in with us. conditioning classes, uh, I mean, we kind of talked about what There's we do, There's a misconception but not really. about what they are. Well, it can be fucking anything. Conditioning is really. a very varied term. It could be a, yes. it could be just a run around the block. It could be a bikes. It could be like an F45 type of, type of deal where it's on a fucking screen and then you watch a guy jump around and you try and copy him. Um, <laughs> I assume Please that's what F45 is. Anyway. Don't, don't, don't sue us. No, don't sue us. Well, you I don't really, you know, I've never been. So, no, you yeah. nailed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then. Allegedly. Yeah. There's, uh, <clears throat> and then there's more, I guess, like cro- like- CrossFit-y, uh, Metcon type, cl- like mm. conditioning components of their classes, which is kind of like what we're going for. So it's yeah. traditional exercises that we feel will have a benefit to the demographic that's in the gym. So more like strength trained people. Strength stiff and boys. conditioning class. Yeah, stiff people uh, that don't move in, that, that are kind of repetitive in our motion and, and uh, uh, trying to pick exercises that are regressed enough for us to do it without uh, risking injury mm. uh, and then also going to be a benefit to the system in think- terms of um, you know, moving overhead and rotating and, and stuff that we don't typically do in training. I think the way we've gone about it in relation to like actually having some form of intent with each of the exercises, like it's not as if we've just slapped together, yeah. like what normal group fitness is, where you just pick like the dumbest, hardest exercises you can do you can purely do to try and fuck yeah. someone up. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. we've actually put some thought process into, okay, what is this going to do? Is this going to help? Like, as you said, people are a bit stiff trying to get their rib cage moving a little bit better, mm. get their abs working a little bit different. Same with any program. Get their overhead. Like, yeah. It's the same with any programming. There's always like, okay, well, what's the purpose of us putting this in here? There's always. A yeah, there are reason. a couple of exercises where it's just like, this is thoughtless. It has movement. to fill a space. It fills the gaps. That's a little yeah. stupid black. No, the bike's, the bike's great rotation. No. You get in rotation, drive the rotation. It's great to stand system. in front of when you're on it. Yeah. So I get the fan. Man. Yeah, exactly. Double <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> He, I went to choose the lunges as he's on the bike. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I keep pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to lunge right here. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, but that bike drove a little bit of rotation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get, but it med still ball, sucks. Med ball stuff that drove a little bit of that. Um, pogos, we had those like The yeah, little low-level pogos scaled. Yeah, the pu- the yoga push-ups, so you're reaching overhead a little bit. Oh, I love those. Some overhead. like. Uh, Do you? Yep. If you joined in on Saturday, you would have been out of doing. I'm um, away next week. We had some med ball throws, like some overhead ones. So again, trying to drive some uh, some overhead action and yeah. all, and all the things that kettlebell are accompanied swings. with that. Some you were kettlebell looking swings, at, so- at some of the stations that we missed, were like some of the rows and things like that, like the gorilla row that um you yeah, there wasn't quite enough too. people. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, there's a million and, and one of them, which um we'll we'll slowly incorporate. You yeah. can't fill all, you can't tick all boxes in the in the one session. And then uh, obviously making them easy enough to do uh, in a conditioning way. So you not need to focus a lot on technique. Yeah. Uh, and then the last part to it is which trying to choose exercises that can kind of be a bit flowy, um, that you can kind of relax through the movement. Um, so I you're think not, that's how conditioning works. 
No, I don't mean relax as in like, oh, you know, laying. I'm just no, going to... No. Yeah, this is when he was laying down. <laughs> yeah, chill no, out. No, 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 I'm relaxing. It's more like not bracing and yeah. like locking ooh, up. Ooh. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, Get yeah, a bit right. touchy-feely in here, are we? Yeah, it's good. No, but like when we do a squat, if I'm doing a set of three, five rep squat or whatever, like I'm, I'm pausing at the top, I'm bracing for the next rep, like it's really fucking heavy. So it's like just crushing me a little bit and making everything in my body tense. Uh, and that's typically how we get really strong through those particular movements. Uh, we don't do a lot of like stuff where one rep flows into the next rep and it's kind of like uh, teaching us to absorb force and kind of like not not brace up heavily for every single rep. Well, like kind of teaches us to relax it a little bit. Like those push-ups, you know, you're walking out slowly, you can go into the push-up controlled, mm-hmm. coming back up and like exhale out to like breathe and really try and open up the rib cage. Yeah, I'm not get, bracing like, at the top of the no, push-up. Exactly. Just, you know, slowly going into it and then exploding out of it, you know, like <laughs> it's, not, it's not, yeah, they're different in, in, a, in that sense, in that it teaches us to relax through range of motion, open up range of motion, just move in different ways. We don't have to brace a lot. Like Lock everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that it's, it's a benefit in med ball throws so i'm throwing up there's a little bit of you know force into the wall but then i have to catch it and then it goes into the next rep and again i'm not bracing up for that so, i'm waiting for someone to hit themselves in the head with a med ball well he let the med ball go and it nearly hit me <laughs> nice slammed it too hard against the wall it's a good thing we don't have the ones that look like the dead balls you know like and they bounce oh they, and they yeah, bounce they we up. have one yeah, yeah, we, we have, have one, one at home no we're not using no, i brought it yeah that was the one we used to throw against the wall in the end mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to, yeah, for the thrust. But the amount of people who do med yeah. ball slams with those yeah. and then it smacks them in the we face. Had, <laughs> we had that a good life. We had, like, the dead balls next to the med and they looked exactly the same. <laughs> and one of the PTs grabbed one for his clients, like, all right, just hurl this at the ground, expecting it just <laughs> to drop. And she was looking straight down at it and oh, got ouch. free trip to the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. No, no we'll, we'll get more more of the soft wall ball ball-y ones more um, what we'll yeah. do. We'll yeah. get, yeah, we'll get like dead balls. We'll pick up some more conditions. Well, so if we're going to pick up, mm-hmm. so, uh, like obviously Townsville has a bit more room. They do more strongman stuff up there. Mm-hmm. We we'll started to get a little bit of strongman stuff. Well, here. that was something that and we we're spoke going to incorporate to, that in there as well. It's going to be say, more carries. There's that was gonna... something you spoke to Jason about was maybe starting the session off by doing like a max strength throw, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it won't be a max distance. strength as in like a powerlifting or a, like a thing. It'll be more of a. Yes, yeah, fucking one RM followed by twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. well, there's the Nexus games it's like just fucking yeeting something, <laughs> throwing a ball as far as you a can, max effort in the a, air or yeah. for yeah. distance or yeah. something. I don't know, yeah. like uh, anything along those lines. Um, just something different, just to to incorporate a new skill into it, move mm. it in a different way. And then you don't push doing... yourself in the conditioning class. But it just depends what people want. Because to me, yeah. like I'm I'm picturing people in here and in Townsville, like getting their individualized program for their goal and doing the four or five strength training sessions in the gym uh, throughout the week. And then that's more of an adult uh, add on to, to tick the, uh, the conditioning box a little bit, maybe yeah. do some stuff that they're, yeah. they're not doing in their program and just become better humans, athletes. And it will be something that we've thing. like, we've had uh, the Townsville space. So Jason up there ran more um, of a strongman conditioning class on a Saturday morning. So that will be something that I know the guys up there will probably want to reintroduce coming into 2024, um, yep. the strongman conditioning classes. So it'll be more strongman specific sort of events. Yep. Um, not uh, quite the same as what we're doing here, but it'll be um, still conditioning sort of biased. So uh, hopefully we can run them both side by side. Um, so if anyone out there is wanting to attend one of those classes, at the moment they're going to be free here on the Gold Coast whilst Kiva is getting his experience. Getting um, the hours in, getting the reps in. Getting the reps in. So if you are on the Gold Coast and you want to come enough reps laughing to... at Josh and Will, um, yell profanities you at them. You'll laughing. be impressed. You'll be admiring. <laughs> You'll absolutely what be impressed. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I had a physical good. performance. I had okay. a good laugh driving in on the driveway. <laughs> Everyone did. Hmm. Um, You're especially just, just, just jealous. <laughs> Tell the truth. Yeah, no, it's, I was so jealous. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I if mean, anyone wants to join that. in on those, please <laughs> do so. But the next thing on our agenda today is, is there anything else you want to add on that, Will? I feel like no. you kind of took the boxes there. Conditioning is fun. Uh, we'll keep people updated as, a, as they develop. Um, it was something I've that... talked with Jace about maybe mirroring in Townsville and then having a bit of a uh, – There's no competition. Down. We're going to win. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
<laughs> Jace okay. will go full army and then turn him into like yeah. fucking proper. Yeah, proper yeah they'll be doing ruck be, runs through the yeah, up being, through Castle Hill in no time, and then we'll just be like, nah, no thanks, guys. Yeah, no, but <laughs> I mean, I guess to to round this off, the main reason why you wanted to get into this is like, whilst we were in away away in America, you highlighted quite a few times that you wanted to work back on your conditioning and your cardio, um, and yeah. you talked. I've uh, known it's been a weak link in the chain. I'm pretty sure at the end of last year when we did this, like that was one of my goals. Um, yeah. for the year, um, yeah. which I definitely incorporated a little bit of. Just got it in there. I was about yeah. to say, you know, it doesn't matter <laughs> when you achieve yeah. your goal as long as you get it in. No, yeah. throughout the year I did I did have spurts of like doing the bike and that at home and pushing it a little bit more. Yeah. You still walk every single morning. Like definitely more than the previous year. TV yes. set up. But, uh, pedaling, yeah. watches the TV. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. He's got a 65-inch TV underneath the house that he watches because um, yeah. the laptop screen's too small for him to watch. You can't his... be squinting. Oh, fuck, what's happening? No. But, yeah, so Not anyways, when we came back from America. Jam we came back yeah. from America, and obviously one of the first weekends we were back was Joshy's comp. So Will was there helping you out, and I know at that point we were trying to rope you into doing it, and you were very reluctant. You just wanted to me to do... do boxing. Yeah, but Will wanted oh, to. That's right. I don't well, like boxing. I'm, I'm glad you brought it. In. I'm glad you brought it to the gym instead of us having to go to another place to do yeah. it. Yeah, well, we were we were still contemplating. Um, It'll still happen. Some form I might get some mitts here for the classes. Yeah, no. I got some. Who's going to bring them? Yeah, bring them in. Yeah, bring you want to bring him in? Get rid of the awesome Keeve is not going to hold him. He's not going to be able to take those. No, you hold him. No, you oh, hold in a group. Oh. Partner up. So I'm Will so punches you and you punch Will. Yeah, um, you try and you you hold the pads up and then I try and avoid them and hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if that's how it works. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You're like, they're there to try and block. And oh, that's what I'll get you, you basically can't fight back. How to hold pad lessons. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No, I'm pretty sure I got it. <laughs> 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 But yes, so uh, boxing was the first thing on the agenda because he wanted to get like a, a learn a skill out of it sort of thing. Um, but he's still might do that. But after, I, I, after the Nexus Games, he was you were very much like I want to. I feel like this was fun and. and I actually after love Josh, the Nexus Games. After you said you saw your heart beats um, in your stomach, yeah, that was I bad. think that yeah, was like, the turning after point. The of, after the tires, <laughs> yeah, the I was sitting there being a smart ass, and then my stomach was like. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is it for me. Yeah, yeah. I got horizontal as quickly as possible. <laughs> I was sitting there just like, <sighs> I I was Kiva told it. me you want to do some strongman after that. I think everyone deter- uh, decided at that point that they I don't think to I wanted to do as much strongman as I wanted to do similar things to what we did, where it's just more like just a little we bit can, of fun. We'll bring some, some tires. Stuff, some yeah, different like, shit. We'll bring yes, some tires. Throw shit, flip shit. Yeah. Get a little bit of a run in for that conditioning aspect. Yeah. So we'll do something yeah. like that with future as it as it grows and we get some momentum behind it because Will was already looking at a bunch of other new pieces of, of equipment <laughs> and I was just Always. like, not happening. How about we get some momentum and this doesn't fizzle out? So mm. Um, mm. that will be the plan is that it, as it continues to grow, we can invest in different pieces of equipment and stuff like that. There's not that, enough so. equipment under the house. <laughs> no, we need more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not happening. So if we can fit the cars. But boxing know. gloves right, is definitely doing? something that um, I think would be fun to partner up with because it's one of those things that as there's more and more people, it's really easy just to throw that in as, a, as an extra. You know? Yeah. What are the benefits of boxing, Will? The rotation and all that sort of reach? A bit of reach. Yeah. anterior. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Bit of the, the endorphins <laughs> of punching somebody in the head. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what you feel when you punch someone in the head. So yeah. we'll just get some headgear and gloves. Have any of you guys yeah. actually done like boxing, like proper boxing? No, I, no, I did. You just talk like shit out. about it. You, don't, you never do it. I you never the, do it um, proper. You just you talk shit as if you can. That's me? Like, no, us. Oh, That's the general. whole point. I was of like, it. I actually fought. Like, I did do boxing. Yeah, like... you're a show off. No, for us, it's just. <laughs> We don't want to. Sh- we just want to pretend that we know how to. I do think it. I did one boxing lesson, and then my traps hurt, and I never did it again. Okay. Too much shrugging. I did the um the you know one of the good life courses for boxing, so that you can oh, you're wow. certified, certified for certified bo- boxing. So it was like four structure. hours of just drills and. Re- I like can you- tell you that's not like actual. What's that's your like boxing. Drill? Oh no! <laughs> it was genuinely useless. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Huh? What's your favorite drill? Boxing drill. Favorite? I can't remember any of them. Oh, I didn't use nice. it once after yeah. that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 I used to get tortured in my boxing because mine was like I that's was, why I, that's why you ended up choosing not to go to boxing because I was like, oh man, they're the way they're gonna absolutely. That I chose me. not to go to bo- you chose. No, I chose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, we'll do this first. Level you and it me up still bit. going there weeks after. Yeah, Will's mm-hmm. coming back. He's gonna come and do some more boxing. Yeah, I'll nah. get picked on too much. Anyway, <laughs> let's move it. 
It's well, enough. Not. He's had enough now. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, well, yeah, we'll keep people updated with it because I feel like just like with anything that we launch, um, we tweak it along the way, make it, find ways to make it better along the way. There's always issues that come up. So And hope uh, it doesn't fizzle out. Yeah, we'll, no, we'll keep it going. Um, uh, so the next part of this podcast is, is kind of a 2023 recap. We are right at the end of the year. Uh, so basically we're looking at what happened in 2023 um, on a, on a personal and uh, a nexus type level as a whole. So what do you got there? Think... Up and go. You can drink your up and go. Yes. Can't wait to hear that <laughs> straw crinkle. That's what I was trying to yeah, You can move the, move the mic up. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, so breakfast. for nexus, we'll start at nexus. Uh, if you want to start thinking about your, individual well they we already had this conversation i know but if you just want to if you want to but the the nexus 20, uh, 2023 so starting at the start of the year and kind of rolling through uh to the, the end of the reflections yeah for the yep. reflections of the year so oh. uh, i've got here uh the first thing was uh you know january is always a bit kind of um slow just getting back into it it wasn't slow for me well it wasn't yeah. really slow behind the scenes um because on the 14th of feb we opened officially opened uh, the second gym in Townsville, mm-hmm. so New Year New Gym. Um, it uh, it launched officially then, but obviously it was months in the making before that. Um, so yeah, opening that and obviously the things that come with that, the the new staff and the every everything involved in that um, yep. kicked off the year with a pretty big bang, I would say, mm-hmm. even with you guys uh, not really directly involved in it, but kind of we all work as a team collaboratively and uh, learn between the gym, share ideas between the gyms and all that. So uh, it impacted us all a little bit. I uh, feel like we got a bit of a roll on with the, the Gold Coast that first year because uh, that was that, that, that date when we opened the, the Townsville gym was exactly a year after this place opening in the Gold Coast. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the first That was year, something that I was very set on that I needed it to be that date. Yeah, the first year was full of easier to remember. Day. Yeah, the settlement date. That's why our marriage date is the same as our anniversary date. We got married on our 10-year anniversary, to remember. so it's an easy date to remember. Can't argue that she's organised. Yeah. But, uh, that's, yeah. Why, that's why you picked Pro Raw to be your birthday weekend. Oh, yeah, for sure. So Will remembers it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the uh yeah, but getting on a roll in the Gold Coast, I feel like the first year was full of uh figuring shit out. Yes. Uh I mean Still every year is for sure. Um but uh yeah, I, feel I like don't feel like I feel like if you're not trying things. to figure shit out along the way, what's the point? Always you're always trying to look at look at ways to do things better. Um but um yeah, I feel like that first year uh we kind of got our roots settled in and then this year's kind of been like settling on that and developing on that, um, bringing more people into the space running more competitions, doing things bigger, better. So that's our next uh, kind of point here was that we did have a list up of like all the events we ran this year, but I'll just say that in, in my, in my personal view and uh, from a business point of view, all of our comps and events here that we've held throughout the year uh, and in Townsville have been a great success. I think. Uh, yeah. We I had, so we had, I the, agree. obviously just, just going the Nexus games was a great success. It wasn't uh, the it, biggest competition. Oh, it wasn't in terms a big comp, but it was a success. Competitors, but it sure. was a really fun, exciting. I think it's one of the best crowds we've had. Just a yeah, because I think people were having fun Genuinely with us. Interest. Yeah. They were like, yeah, sure. it was fun just to watch. Like, yeah, we've had Deadly for Dogs. We've had Nexus Novice, which again, the crowds there have been phenomenal. They cheer yeah, everyone on. They get hyped. They're like yeah. huge crowds. But Nexus Novice to me, the crowd was just different. Like they were. Yeah, yeah, to have fun. Some of them were having a few beers. Like yeah. it was just oh the games. It, yeah, yeah, like that's our Nexus yeah. games. Yeah, it was just fun. Like it was a lot of fun for everyone there. Yeah, the Nexus novice. There was, I think, was because bigger. we also had no pressure or expectations on it. Right, oh, it was just 100%. like let's just Everybody rock up and throw new. shit around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas the powerlifting comps, there's so much more structure that's required for that in terms of more nerves. technical setup and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And and as you said, the nerves. Like and people were a little bit more experienced, even for a novice comp. Out, so. Yeah, it was. It's. It's not that one was better or worse. They're just very, very different. Mm. And um, I think, like you're right there, the Nexus Games was definitely a lot of fun. Mm. Same with like the Strongman Comp in in Townsville. That was a lot of fun um, because no one was really up there to like. Yeah, there was definitely people there to be competitive. Like it was a much bigger event. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there was more pressure on that because it was. Uh, 
getting things to and from the event and the setup of all that. Yeah, there's a huge amount of setup. We work. learned that a lot of lessons of, of, of what strong media is all about. Mm. It's mostly about just moving, <laughs> awkward moving shit. A lot of, moving a lot of awkward uh, shit. Yeah. Apart. The next one, uh, I'm sure, will be bigger and better again. Yeah, we're doing that one at the at the gym. Yeah, we have um, some big plans for that. In 2024, so that'll be fun. Well, I think for the first external event, that we did this year for the Nexus Games, like yeah. something that was outside of the gym. I think that Gold went, Coast. yeah, on the Gold Coast. I think that did really well. And like, it's always like when we get to the end of it, it's like, oh fuck, like it actually went really well. And it's, yeah. it's almost just a, yeah. a, a like sigh to, of relief. I always like to sit down after every single event and just go like, what could we have done def- differently, better? How can we improve on this experience for us as coordinators and, and people that set things up and for the experience of the competitors um, and the spectators as well because you have to like everything you have to like obviously the competitors it's really important that they enjoy it so they want to keep coming back but also for the spectators like i don't feel like people put enough emphasis on like how comfortable is this for the people that are actually attending because it's we want more crowds at these events like the more crowds there are the more people want to come along and and compete themselves and i think if you can take into consideration what your spectators experience is like is really important so there was things um that we we did differently uh to ensure that that experience was really good like and also our poor refs like bringing the uh marquees further forward and and all that sort of stuff having bigger marquees and um food different food vendors and yeah yeah yeah, just different food vendors it was bigger better uh compared to the last one as well more people yeah uh competitors people there we had it a little said, bit better dialed into in the back room. Yeah, yeah. Like everything the, just was a little the bit better. Like the coordination of everything in the back, setting it all up, setting yeah. it up, having people in, out, bags, yeah. and so like it was just a yeah. lot better. The, like the everything more, was better. Yeah. Every time we just put that little bit more effort into the preparation, the day just goes off that little bit yeah. better it's as effort, well. It's just better organization. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Like, but it, yeah, <clears throat> it's always effort to get it done. Yeah. And then we had the you mentioned deadly for dogs there. Uh, Number two was. Yeah, really great this year. Mm-hmm. Um, we the had crowd a, was so loud. A that lot day. more people, mm. a lot more. Yeah, crowd. Um, double the competitors. Double the yep. the money raised. Um, so uh, ticked off our goal with that, and um, <clears throat> we have some plans to to make that bigger and better next year again. Yep. So, <clears throat> geez, uh, the first the first one of that is just getting it in Townsville. Yes. So we'll be running it um, on the same day. In the same format. Uh, we'll talk about goals in, in another in episode, William. Yeah, I know. So, but yeah. No, it's, it's just Reflections one of, the, of the this small year. Parts. Good events. What good other events? events? What are other events? events? Do we have anything? Good. Um, well, we had APL up in Townsville. That was that was huge as well. I thought that was a lot of fun. Oh, the, yeah. The Townsville one. Both the sanction comps up there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's there's more there was more events as well, but uh, yeah, everything. I can't think of one that didn't go to plan. We had the mentorship as well as the nutrition courses. Mm-hmm. So the mentorship was first time that I did that solo, uh, and which was actually a bit of a challenge, just re-recording, rewriting, rethinking a little bit, as I do every time. Or, you always but, um, want to update, but this one you did a complete overhaul, and then you did it by yourself. So yeah, and then including uh, both the calls. Yeah, and I think I think it, they went really well. If I look back on, it's not the the other ones haven't been successful. They definitely have. Um, but this one, uh, one of the things that stands out to me and that I'm proud of is that uh, we've all done courses. We've all done similar things. And uh, those are the listeners out there that have run courses themselves would <clears throat> experience this. Yeah, typically you get, you get a bit of a drop off towards the end always, both being on the, on the doing it side and on the, uh, the running it side. Um, you, you, get, you get a bit into it and, and obviously like you fuck, life just comes into it. It's not that you're yeah. not interested anymore, but life just comes in and, and you can get a little bit distracted and you forget goals and, and things like that. But this time, the, the vast majority of people were there right to the end, all the way through. Every single Which call. to me shows, hey, doing a good job here. Yeah. Um, and they were and super active on the Discord. Yeah, they were all in Every there. week sending videos, client videos, questions, their own yeah. training videos, like programs yeah. to assess. For you sure. You guys, like, yeah, that and was this, cool. And then it... So in uh, there was yeah. the most amount. Of, it was a smaller group compared to what you've run in the past, but there was the most amount of, yeah, which um, is what we want. Like yeah, communication and uh, I guess consistency throughout the entire twelve weeks. So you'll be running that again next year. Um, and yeah, yeah the nutrition was, course. Yep. So we had the nutrition course. We just ran one this year. Um, 
aim to do more next year as well in 2024. But the nutrition course, I had the goal of just like 20 people. I was like, if I get 20 people in on this, like I'll be really happy. Um, and uh, it was the second time that I ever run that. And so I didn't really have a lot of, like I had a goal and we had like 30 six or 37 people sign up to it so I nearly doubled what my goal was for that so I was really fucking happy with that um because within that launch was also um taking over of the um the Townsville space and and opening that so whilst I was in Townsville I was also doing present like presentations for that course still recording curriculum for that course and then I also had Jordan for the first time jump in and present alongside me in that too so she was really really happy that was one of the things that um, when whenever we do our reviews, I was like, what do you kind of, what do you, you know, want to do? Um, and she mentioned that jumping in and doing some education stuff was something that appealed to her. And so I just threw in the deep end and made her do this. She didn't ask to do this course, but yeah, she right. was just like, I'd like to, you know, do more education stuff. And I think she was referring more to like podcasting. And I was like, nah, I'll <laughs> fucking throw you straight in. Straight in. <laughs> it's the only so, way to do it. Yeah, she was shitting bricks. Um, but she did really, really well in her um in her live lecture. Um, and then I'll be getting her to do more live lectures in this upcoming course as well. So See. I'm really looking forward to that. So people out there listening, we do actually have that opening um in February. So uh we are doing an early bird sale. Um if you're interested, reach out. If you're interested, yes. So uh the next point uh in order of the year, uh yeah, well, I just have down is like just Kiva. Uh, so Kiva coming on board. Yep. Um, Simply Kiva. Just, yeah. We were well, Kiva was our enough, only but... new, Im- like, obviously we had the Townsville Yeah, the Townsville Tarth, people come on, staff. but he's the only one that's. Um, so, but since, since town, yeah. Like, cause uh, technically like I view Townsville as like, they were essentially here like in December, you know what I mean? Like they yeah. were Feel, as part of the team and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. We were communicating with them and um, helping them through different onboarding things back in like December. Um, so February, yes, they officially started, but Kiva was our only newer employee in that, in that um, time. So yeah. the newest member to the team um, with everyone else now reaching their one year mark, um, Kirby, Kirby included in that too. So. Yeah. So getting into the two years for the, the later part of the year, we have um, just a slight changing. Oh man, that, that small table ruining you. Uh, the changing, just a slight changing of services and delivery. I feel like we've uh, just added value or consolidated, just just made uh, clearer the services mm-hmm. that we have. So we had uh, removal of some services. We had adding of new services, some changing of yeah. how they're delivered. Um, so we moved into an app. We moved um, all of our training big, and nutrition big change Yeah, that was a big us. change for sure. That took months. All right, all right. I remember the first conversation about that. And I was just like, it was like, yeah, we got to do this, 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 and this. And I was like, mm-hmm. mm, <laughs> yep. Well, whenever you change. I've transitioned to an app before and I know what goes into it. It's been yes. most of my year. Yeah. 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 Like, whenever oh, you sick. change these things, there's, there's, there's a <clears throat> million and one things to make it work. Um, because Not just make it work, but make it work well. Yeah. Like, up to our standard yes. that we have. Yeah. yeah. There's not only a like the client end and what they see there's a lot that goes into it making it efficient on our end uh and because if you just sit there we've talked about this a little bit um when it comes to programming if you just sit there and kind of go like blank piece of paper and go like oh what am i going to do with this person you can do that but it fuck it, it it's time consuming and often you you find yourself like forgetting little elements um and so like getting all the exercise database in there getting uh, some structured program kind of uh, rough layouts so that we can um, easily recall things and make it work for people in the best way. Uh, yeah, and just adding like lots of different things All like that. All resources. Check, exactly. how you check resources, 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 check-in that took, procedures. That took me and Jordan so long to do because there's so much content in there. It's like 150 different articles and stuff, wasn't it? Like there was – Videos, um, articles. Yeah, like there's, there's like 12 different sections. There's 12 yeah, different easy. sections with 25 um, pieces in each section. Yeah, so, it's wild. Yeah, there's a lot of content in there. Um, That's the stuff that, the clients don't see, all yeah. the back-end stuff to set that up. Yeah, so all that yeah. stuff. And it wasn't just a matter of, um, oh, yeah. yeah, we'll just copy and paste that over. It was like creating a new design for a lot of those eBooks and stuff because yeah, yeah, it was like a copy of make it flow. something that was just on a, like a website blog that we then had to create into a PDF 
um, article, which I didn't want just like a blanket document. I wanted it to look appealing. So it was like converting that over to then upload that into the resource thing. So and like then exercise, uh, there's some like exercise tutorials, some comp day things, some, some prep, prep planners yeah. to make sure that you get through each week. And that Bloom you're videos that prepared. I had to upload onto onto youtube which i then had to download the shareable link to then import into this as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of different there was a lot of, of work that went into sure. that piece that's for sure so when All i was saying to, to you share guys, it with the client <laughs> that's no, this took was, me ages to do <laughs> never like, mind actually have you guys shared this to your clients because i don't think you understand the I amount of hours yesterday. that I went know, into I that I was like, so nah, I'm not the amount of yeah. um but but now i feel like uh where we've got our footing with it yeah. uh, pretty damn well. Yeah. And it, pretty it works flowy. It works really now. well. Uh, yeah. And I think on the client end, it's uh, it's really easy to use. And, it's a little uh, bit more user-friendly and it's just a little bit more... Um, easy to navigate. Yeah, like it's just moving from spreadsheets was a thing that like was a huge It wasn't just moving from spreadsheets. From it was moving from spreadsheets and groups and just, the way that we deliver our services uh, just, in its entirety. Just trying to put everything into one spot. So if somebody's a nutrition client uh, and a program client and uh, they're doing different things, it's all in one space. There's yes. messages in it and it's, it's, it's all in one place. That was the biggest thing. In yeah, our, so when we were looking at the that. app that we wanted to go into, um, the programming was always great with majority of the apps that people like at because that's where majority of it is, but the nutrition was subpar. It didn't tick. It didn't allow us to deliver the services the same way that we kind of do with the forms and the questionnaires and um, some of the metrics that we want to track and all that. So yeah, it was a big change. Uh, and then we have, this isn't really a, a particular like Nexus thing, but I thought I, I'd chuck it in here because there is elements of it and that's us being away. And the reason why I've kind of put that in the, the personal 2023 recap, but also in the Nexus one is because I feel like uh, it was a big step for us, kind of like going away a little bit, still in contact, but like going away for a little bit. And you guys, as well as the Townsville guys, as well as everybody else in the team, uh, stepping up and kind of, yeah, keeping things running. Being a bit more self-sufficient. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And uh, I feel like everybody's that, like, that? Uh, <laughs> well, it's not only that is what I meant. Is is it like yeah? Everybody, everybody. You got something you want to share with the class, will you? <laughs> no, everybody did a great job. This is a congrats. Everybody's <laughs> everybody killed it, uh, and um, and kept things moving forward uh, through that. Uh, and then as soon as we got back, this was again something that was months in in planning, but it kind of was only launched as soon as we got back was the, literally the, as we were on the plane flying home from on the plane. Yeah. yeah they just timed out. It Vancouver. wasn't really our call exactly, but uh, yeah, the, the, to go with the changing of services, the Gambari thing. So the collaboration with Eugene Teo and uh, the, the other collaborators involved into bringing Gambari into it, what it is now. Um, so it now serves uh, from Nexus's perspective as like our lowest tier under $10 a week kind of programming uh, service that's involved. So everybody, uh, no matter where they're at, can be a part of um, the Nexus fam mm. and get something uh, out of it, get a look at some value out of it uh, and be you know, in, involved with the team in some that way. Was, that was a big... It was huge. That was, was a, a, big, a lot of back-end stuff. A lot of back-end stuff for us. Um, I was still editing videos whilst away um, in America as well for the exercise library there. Um, but, uh, the biggest thing for us with that was that I know you were very much against like offering just a program, right? That's not ever something that you've wanted to do is just no. do like eBooks or I've never wanted to just offer a program because I feel like it devalues what we do best. And or that's, that's one, client yeah. communication. One yeah. off eight week, 12 week program. That's like, yeah, I'm just saying about it. Buy yeah. my eBook sort of thing. Um, cause it, I'm not saying it can't work, but it just was never us. Yeah. Uh, whereas yeah, this is is a program it's a set yes. program for everybody but um the way eugene does it and incorporate incorporates a lot of education he allowed us to incorporate more where it's going to be updated with some new programs as it moves forward uh and it's going to be a yeah the programs are designed to flow into There's each a lot other more value as well in it than just and then you can, a program catch the forum us. yeah yeah you can the forums and stuff to ask questions upload videos so yeah. people are actually getting a little bit of advice and help yeah. when they need it yeah for sure um and then you know the 
uh, the, the way that the programs are designed as well is that they all f kind of flow into each other. But within the app, one of the features that Eugene's got is that obviously you can add workouts or change workouts and stuff like that. Change whereas goals. Change goals. Yep. Um, and you Mix can edit, goals. edit things in there a little bit more. Whereas like if you were to just to get a, you know, an ebook program or something like that. Um, it's just set. It's just set. And it was really yep. hard for you to kind of track as you go through that process and what you're changing up, unless you're then putting that into a spreadsheet or something. So and you could do two days of bodybuilding or, you know, one full body bodybuilding type session and then a couple of strength sessions from our powerlifting programs in there. Mm. Uh, and then some flexibility stuff yeah, from a, a couple really... of the different guys in there that do that. Uh, some, that some running session, stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different kind of avenues you can it's go down and kind of value. meld them together. Yes. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah, so for under 10 bucks a week, it's, yeah. it's so we, we actually removed one of our lowest our lowest tier services to um, uh, incorporate that instead. Um, we just found that that service, though it was a fantastic service, it was almost too much value for the amount of work, time almost. and energy that went into it. <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> um, so it was a matter of like, okay, we have to, we have to remove that um, and make our coaching very much high tier. Um, so the monthly and weekly offers that we do there. And then if you want programming, then you go through this app. So a lot of our gym members are now getting their programming for a lower price point. So it's fantastic for them. They get great value. They still obviously have the opportunity to talk to us in the space, but, um, yeah, they just have a lower price point program for less workload, um, for our team, which was important to us. Yeah. And through all of these things that have launched and happened throughout the year, of course, uh, the last point here is just many new faces, uh, lots of gains, lots of PBs, lots of celebrations, lots of memories that have um, that have come with all of the events and all of these launches and all of these new new things that have happened throughout the year. So, uh, yeah, Those were just every time I walk points. in, there's new people. Every time yeah. we go to Townsville, there's new faces uh, and hitting new new goals, new PBs. So, yeah, fucking. Kind of I'd cool be interested be now, after we've outlined all of that, what sort of reflections do you both have on 2023 um, through, throughout this evolution and, and what we've been through? Yeah, any lessons or or things that weren't mentioned there that, that came up for you guys? Personal uh, stuff? Been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot, yep. Yeah. Um, can I mention mine yet? That's for the next okay. episode. Um, then <laughs> stay tuned. Um, no, there's been a lot. Like, as you guys said, the start of the year, I'd almost say this year, like in terms of uh, the, the team, not so much like it's been, we've definitely haven't been like left to our own devices, but we've definitely been given a bit more responsibility individually. Mm. Like with the, with you guys taking responsibility of opening up the town Actually, gym. No, the and, way that the, sorry to cut you off there. We'll, we'll announce um, Josh has been offered head coach employment. So moving into January. There you go. I'm just sorry. going to cut you off there. I'm just thinking about the next episode. He was episode. looking forward to announcing that. Sorry. Just... <laughs> <laughs> sorry to cut you off there, Josh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just thinking about the next episodes that have come to go. So yes, I would love you to explain that <laughs> that process for us. I'll, because I'll get into that as yeah. I continue through now. Yeah. Um, the year starting off. Yes. Yeah, the year starting off, like I think we were kind of by that point, Alex, George, myself had all celebrated our 12 months, like Kirby had yeah. just come aboard. So I think we started to find our feet a little bit better with you guys taking on the responsibility of Townsville and obviously Wilbur competing. So he had that like coming up for Pro Roar and stuff. Mm. It meant that we all kind of just had to step up individually and grow the team together. Like our own individual efforts were going to grow the team together. And I think we all did a really good job with that. Like Alex launching Sammy Private and taking that extra space into the gym and being able to elevate himself as a coach and not just the gym manager, but then also helping offer a lower tier option for the guys in the gym that still mm. provides insane amounts of value mm. and all of us individually just growing and then continuing to push through that year. Then when you guys went away, like again, having to step up and have meetings with each other every, yeah. every couple of weeks and make sure things were running right and like checking in on shit and, just keeping on top of things and making decisions that necessarily, like sometimes we may have previously come to you guys and be like, what should we do here? Whereas yeah. now we were just what kind of like, about yeah, we were just yeah. like, okay, well, let's just do this. We'll kind of tell Mickey yeah. and Will and see what they say yeah. after the fact. And yeah. if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, we've done like the right yeah. thing. And then just I guess, taking the initiative with that. Yeah. And I guess through that process, like from um, 
it was like middle of the year or something or like maybe even more towards the start pretty much since i first started with nexus i've always said the same thing i want to go in education i want to do like coach education and work within coaches and and help coaches to better expand their knowledge to then go on and help their clients and so on and so forth because that creates a greater impact and then the opportunity arose to sort of put my effort in and showcase that I could do that thing. I yeah. could do the work and could bring about that and, and actually do the things I wanted to do. And yeah, through that process, once you guys got back from America, I obviously got offered the head coach role, yep. which I very happily accepted. Yes. Um, to start in 2024, which is sick. Like that was something I worked towards, actively worked towards for six months. I'd been sort of yeah. like pondering towards it for well, I, I recall you and I, like you called me up and had that conversation. You were like, what do I need to do? And to yeah. me, as as an owner, for someone to turn to me and say, what do you need from me? Mm. What do I need to do? Like that was a huge, a huge turning point um, for you within within the the business. And we've seen you take leaps and bounds in in multitude of different ways um to from you know supporting alex here in the role with 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 content and um you know covering some hours and stuff like that as well um to producing you know more of a conscious effort with your social media and and selling and handling sales um and then of course there's the you know just the leaps and bounds you've made in your own coaching and, and delivery of services and the, the service that you provide and the relationships that you build with your clients. So we've identified all those sorts of things and, and yeah, hence why, you know, when it was time to, to sort of have that, that next discussion, um, I think it was a very easy thing for Will and I, you know, to, to offer that for you. And um, obviously we appreciate the work that you've done. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that continue to grow moving into um, 2024 and, um, you know, what more we can all do collaboratively with that. So, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to see the growth and continue to just push and work and work amongst the team. And yeah, we'll talk about more more about what that involves. Yeah. Because uh, you've done a few party. of your yeah. own workshops and stuff like that throughout this last year, like looking back on yeah. this last year. like Oh, was, yeah. Fully f- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's you a did a couple year. of your own workshops I got flown up to well. Cairns to run a, yeah. a deadlift workshop up there. I got approached about uh, assisting in running some workshops at another local gym uh, that didn't eventuate for this year, but at 2024, there's probably going to still look to do something like that. Yeah. Helping Wilbo with the the workshops in here and just mm-hmm. sort of getting amongst that and bringing some bigger clients teams to yeah. To I'm bringing as well. last year. My goal was to bring five clients to the platform total. I think at the end of the year, I brought 20, 25. Yeah. The first competition of the year, I brought 12. Yeah this year and since then i think i'm close to 50 already to the platform from like local comps novice comps national states like all pretty big comps and things like that yeah Yeah, massive comps around and and continuing to work with some some great people both in the gym obviously sammy australian level hockey player achieving all her goals as well and and beginning to kokoda like something we'd worked towards for like nearly six years yeah finally seeing her achieve that and things like that was crazy flick getting to watch. a 200 deadlift <laughs> yeah flick continuing to just do what flick does and just achieve crazy things like a 200 kilo deadlift is wild um she has like you know the, the national record and things like that she keeps trying to break her own record at every comp since because uh, <laughs> that's just what she does uh but yeah like it's this year has been hectic in the best ways possible and i'm just really excited to see what 2024 has in yeah. store and we'll go over that in another. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. different. That's another one. Yeah, that's early, early twenty twenty four. That'll be. So that's yeah. why I was like, we'll announce it now because the next episode is going to be talking about. Yeah, what we're we'll doing be talking with it. about that yeah. and what we're doing with it. So, Alexander, mm. year in what's twenty twenty three for you? <clears throat> Started off pretty rough. Got COVID and my car got hit when I was asleep <laughs> on New Year's Eve. <laughs> that the was car rough. Chronicles. Yeah, run down asleep in your own It's been a story of my twenties. Yes, just fucking dealing with cars and just life's bullshit. Mm. Um, and I feel like it just it got off to a little bit of a rocky start, and there's there's been patches of that over the year that have just been really testing and challenging. You know, it's been the first year pretty much living by myself as well um, in a unique situation. So, in a beautiful space, though. In a beautiful space, very grateful for that, yeah. and you know. It's, it's always been a reminder that even during those hard moments, like work has been a little bit more of a rock. Um, the community here has just been fucking fantastic and like very supportive um, in, in a multitude of ways, but even just on a more personal level as well. Mm. Um, 
and even just having Kiva come into the space and, and, and working more with him, like he's, he's been a, a great asset both personally and professionally. And like, I think it's just it, all of those moments over the year are really highlighted by the fact that, um, you know, I've had really good people around me and that's been super important. Yeah. And I think a really fundamental difference to how work and life has been of the last perhaps five or six years and coming up in the industry and something that I really wanted to work towards and create. And, you know, that lined up really well with meeting you guys and mm. opening a gym and yes. all the things that I've been looking <laughs> the for. The shit that unfolded at that yes. first first meeting. <laughs> fuck, fuck load of it. And yeah. then, you know, that's been added with new challenges of opening up Townsville and trying to work on refining their systems and their process and mirroring a little bit of what we've done here continuing to refine uh, our processes and our structure here within the gym as well always just looking to revisit that and 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 do better you know and that's something that i often come back to with myself is just always looking to do better and sometimes i'm perhaps a little bit too hard on myself when it comes mm. to that as well and i think that yeah like particularly there were a couple of highlights of those moments that really came to fruition like when you guys were away and just trying to fill a little bit more of that space and just make sure that, yeah, shit didn't burn to the ground and just little things were addressed properly as well, you know, because sometimes those just get palmed off as, as things that aren't as important, but over time they can definitely compound to a lot. So it's making sure that we're staying on top of those and addressing them as they come up. And I think that's something that we all did really well over that period mm. and particularly proud of, of the efforts we all put in for that and, and, and how we came together a little bit more as a team. Um, you know, and that and that shone through on all the things that we talked about before, like all of our events, uh, all the Im improvements we've made to services. I think we've all done really well to shape a really good year for Nexus as a whole. Yeah. And just the community as a whole. Yeah. When I have a chat with Ro, our business coach, um, I one of the things that um, she's expressed to me is that this year has just been a lot of evolutions and changing and um, uh, from like, for me, that's kind of how I reviewed this last year is that like, do I see growth? I see growth, but not growth in the way that I personally envision like growth. Um, I see evolutions as more of like the, the growth sort of thing. Um, and next year, uh, I really want to focus on settling and growing if that makes sense. Yeah. So settling in the changes that we've made we've and seen. the evolutions that we've gone through. There's still going to be some evolutions, but not, not of the same sort. Yeah. I feel like the value that we bring in services now, uh, what what exactly they are, yeah. uh, what we're things doing. like the mentorship and the nutrition courses. Things and are the, a little bit more solid. Yes. And all yeah, this yeah it's so, so much, it's settling it's on those. It's not so much building. Yeah. It's yeah. now it's it's, how, we how don't do we need growing with it. Yes. Exactly. How, so, do we, how do we grow those things out and, and reach more people and we, the value involved in them that we know is there, like how do we, yeah. So that's kind of how I view it is that I don't view this year in growth, though there's been a lot of growth. I view this year in in an evolution because there's been so many different changes and mm. refinements and improvements and adding and removing of things. Um, it's been a that, lot of adapting this year. Yeah. Um, and, and so next year is about settling with the changes that we've made and not doing anything too drastic, um, but uh, uh, still growing everything like mm. next year is a big grow year for me um and uh there are obviously goals which we'll go over in in another episode um in the new year which will cover exactly where we want to be growing and i think that that is a good little segue to to that episode for 2024 yeah. there are a couple of uh last minute things here uh, just personal things for me and you that that we didn't mention for this year, even though Nexus is a, like is a huge part of what we do uh, on a day to day basis. But there are, yeah, there are a couple of things there. Um, so uh, again, going through the year, uh, just in order. Just the first thing that happened in the in the new year was Bowser. So if you listen to this podcast, you'll know that he's an absolute fucking podcast wrecker. So he's not here to celebrate. But um, celebrate his achievement for 2020. Yeah, he wrecked his podcast. Good, good job. Bowser's reflection, destruction. Yes. Uh, he was yeah, chewing the things. floor this Bruton. morning. Fuck. <laughs> Loves chewing floor. Anything. Uh, but yeah, coming into the year, he was a, a part of that. Um, Bowser has been my rock for 2023. Obviously, the, the gym launch for us put a lot of 
just uh, as in like Townsville, that is uh, a lot of <laughs> tops turvy, just fucking learning because it was very different to the launch here. I won't get into it too much, but it is very different to how this place is Growing opens. something versus getting uh, something that's already established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in a nutshell, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more to expand from behind the scenes than that, uh, including you flying up and just living there for two weeks and trying to get things running. So like, yeah, bit of a different thing there. Um, the challenge us personally, that was pro raw for me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, tick that off, doing my one competition for the year. Um, well, yeah, I competed too. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So much shit happened um, this year. Yeah, but pro roll went well. I got back up there, hit some numbers that weren't, um, PBs, but I thought for the, the prep that it was, oh, if you go it back and listen to these episodes, or 940 total or something uh, it like went that? well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, it did well, came away with the win with that. I um, was happy with that outcome. I know there's a lot more there for when that time comes. Um, you train, had, came off a shifting. terrible fucking prep for that too. Oh, that it was, was just an absolute strung together fucking prep. That was the sure. world's worst If you go prep. back and listen to those episodes back then, geez, uh, you'll, you'll hear why. Mm. But um, yeah. And had the whole team down there. We did. Had the had whole team few. down to support. Yeah. Had a few. Yeah. Not everyone, but a lot of them. Yeah. The, <laughs> Pretty much everyone, yeah. <laughs> throughout the year, there are multiple things on this, but just the diabetic journey for me just learning a lot of shit about that uh, <laughs> how the body works is crazy um <laughs> uh yeah but although i have the upper hand on a lot of people by knowing how the body works to some degree <laughs> fuck it's thrown some curveballs in there so um yeah including competing and things like that as well so uh, and learning to train around it so i feel like i've got a good handle on it now i'm probably the best training space now than i have been for the whole year leading up to this point um, and I'm excited where to go for it. But again, something for the next episode. Uh, and then it's been mentioned a few times already, but just the, the wedding and the honeymoon and the holiday with that was a big part for us. Uh, we promised ourselves at this time last year when we're going through all the Townsville stuff, all right, we're going to get just fucking go hard until that date. And then that date's our holiday day and then we're going to go. So it was kind of like almost like a competition itself, like the build up for it. It was an 18 month just, build up. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. Um, Let's just keep going, go hard, uh, get all these different changes out of the way um, so that can happen in a relatively okay place. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was an achievement just to make that happen personally for us. Mm. We made you it want work. to add to that? No, I think that's it. You good? Yep. Cool. Anything else you guys want to add on that? Anything? I just keep thinking about this year, I'm like, there's a done. lot of other things. I yeah, graduated heaps, uni as well, which I forgot shit. about. Oh, good job. <laughs> yep. I forgot I graduated there. This year. I keep forgetting this year. Yeah. yeah. It's almost as if it's just been broken into a thousand different parts. Yeah. It is. When yeah, we do our goal, so when we do our goal setting one, we'll sit down and we'll we'll have a little bit more structure. A concise, more, a bit more <laughs> nah, concise. Fuck it. You're to wing this shit. <laughs> we'll both <laughs> sprung this on us for ten minutes before the podcast. That's all you need. By the way, welcome to life with it's, Will. It's not even enough time to remember all the shit that happened this year. Yeah. Nah. It was all good. Right. It was a good. It was year. a good year. Leave it there. And we're um, ready for for another big one next year. Yeah. So. I'm really last, excited for next year. Last closer of just a big thank you to everyone that supported us for this year for Nexus. Like mm. it's something that we always bring up at events and, and big things. And I think this is a, a you know, a big reflection of, of the entire year that we couldn't <laughs> we've fucking do so it. much, honestly. Yeah. Like, fuck, I don't know how the fuck we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I look back on it and I'm like, how the fuck did we do that? Thanks like, for not on. letting the podcast fold by continuing yeah. to listen to Alex and me. Yep. <laughs> Thank you to those four listeners that supported yeah. us. Thanks, mum, that, that for watching it on three different devices. <laughs> Yes. She gets we'll, the we'll, Make we'll, sure the um, look better. The we'll keep we'll keep the things moving into into the next year. But yes, obviously we we greatly appreciate all of our clients, listeners, um, viewers, and anyone who just supports us in the different ways that they do. Whether it's just sending us a message, just you know, saying that they listen in and, and that they appreciate you know some of the advice that we give out in amongst the the banter,s the tangents, and the shit talks. So. Um, yes, thank you very much to clients, members, and to you guys as well. Obviously, we would not be here where we are, and I say this countless times and over and over again, but, um, you know, there are many people behind Nexus um, and uh, or within Nexus, I should say, that make um, the wheels keep turning, and, and obviously we appreciate um, each and every one of you and the things that you do in, in your own unique way. So, cool. All right. Wrap, Wrap it up. up. See you next year. Adios.
Thank you for listening to the Nexus Unloaded podcast. Be sure to jump on our website to find details on everything mentioned in the podcast today, plus information on our coaching, mentoring, and gyms based in the Gold Coast and Townsville. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram for any updates on what we are currently doing, and we'll see you all in the next episode.